It's pretty good. Just give me a second to uh, set up my teleprompter. <laughs> All the speakers have already touched on it. At one time or another, every speaker that we had up here today, and probably going, being echoed through the whole crowd for the words, we the people. But what I'm going to mention to you right now, I'm going to document from our own founding documents the authority that we the people have. All power, if you were to read the founding documents, really does rest in we the people. Over the last couple of years, Americans have been beginning to get a pretty bad taste in their mouth from our elected officials. The reason for that is, is because we have found out that when we shout to them, they do not respond. They are unresponsive. That is not good leadership. In fact, that's not leadership at all. They've been canceling town hall meetings. They've been undermining the will of the people. The elitist mentality, they have been referring to us, as we've all heard, AstroTurf. So let's define for a second, if they're going to call us AstroTurf, what exactly, what are they actually trying to tell us? We're manufactured, yeah, we get that. We're disposable. We have no roots. We are not firm. We are not firmly planted. In other words, we don't know anything. We just blow with the wind. There's no depth to us at all. That's what the elitist mentality has been telling us, especially over the last seven or eight months. With absolute, complete disregard for the United States Constitution and the American people. So right now, let's just get something straight as a way to encourage you all, and also as a way to fire off a warning shot to them. The authority of the people, Declaration of Independence. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. It goes on to say, Whenever any form of government becomes destructive, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and to institute new governments. And that was just in the Declaration of Independence. Let's see what the Constitution has to say. Preamble to the Constitution. We the people of the United States, dot, 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 do establish and ordain this Constitution for the United States of America. That means that we the people supersede the powers that the Constitution ordains. Because we are the ones that put the Constitution into effect. The people, we the people of the United States of America. Dave Bailey already before kind of quoted me. That was the first time I've ever been quoted. That's pretty cool. But the strength of the people. We have a certain amount of strength. We have strength through God's law. And we also have strength through the law of the land. The U.S. Constitution. How do we have strength through God's law? Well, through natural law. We gain strength as we exercise our God-given rights. And we exercise and we gain strength as we exercise our God-given rights in the face of opposition. That's how we exercise our strength. You see, my freedom to speak is just as natural as my ability to speak. So I don't know what they're going to do about this hate crimes legislation, because they cannot legislate away the benevolence of God Almighty. Failure to exercise our God-given rights is a complacency that will lead us down the road to serfdom. That is why it is so important to continually be vigilant and always show up. Cancel the golf course. Cancel your fishing trip. If your voice can be heard, it needs to be heard. If you have the ability to speak out, you have the responsibility as an American to speak out. James Madison at the Virginia Ratifying Convention on June 16, 1788 said, There are more instances to the abridgment of the freedoms by gradual and silent encroachments of those in power than by violent and sudden usurpations. Let's go back in history a little bit. 
Right out of the Marxist definition, socialism is the implementation of collectivist principles. We've had it spoon-fed to us over and over and over again, but because we've been so preoccupied with our blessings, we've, we've, we've gone ahead and taken it. But right now, they're trying to dish it out in potfuls, put it right before, our, right before us, and they want us to eat it all up. That's what's waking up Americans right now. We realize what it is they're trying to do. We're not going to be complacent anymore. When we have an opportunity to speak out, we're going to speak out. We also have strength through the law of the land, the United States Constitution. By law. We have it through God's law, but just to guarantee that, that, that God's law isn't taken away from us, the United States Constitution guarantees to it. The Constitution says, well, I already read the preamble. I'm going to tell you what Thomas Jefferson said. The Constitution furnishes a text to which those who are watchful may again rally and recall the people. The Constitution is calculated to prevent as well as to correct abuse. Whenever we go to a town hall meeting, whenever we go to a rally like this, we need to know what the Constitution says. Somebody's got to know it because they don't know it. Don't give them an opportunity to run. Don't talk about what taxes are going to do. Don't talk about, hey, we're going to lose our jobs if this happens. Taxes are going to go up if this happens. My house payment is going to go up. Interest rates are going to go up and down. You know, because they got these slimy tongues that can work their way around everything you point out. But one thing that they cannot run away from is when you cite to them the law of the land that they took an oath to uphold, support, and defend. The United States Constitution. They cannot run from it. And if we are watchful, we can. It is possible to rally and recall, to prevent and correct abuse. But we have to take that burden of responsibility upon ourselves to educate ourselves. What is the Constitution? They don't know it. I promise. Thomas Jefferson said, In questions of power, let no more be heard of confidence in man, but bind him down from his mischief by the chains of the Constitution. As Dave Bailey pointed out earlier, the Constitution is a chain, but we the people are the strength of that chain. It is only as strong as we will let it be. Fifty-five men met in Philadelphia, and for the first time in the history of the world, they created, created a document designed solely to bind the government, not to bind the people. So obviously, I think we know that they don't want a strong chain, do they? No. Right, you might as well scream a little bit louder. No. That's right. Practice screaming. Because we need to get around their office buildings, and we need to shout until their windows shatter, and until their eardrums burst. Yeah. And with our strength and with our authority, we have the power. If people, if we the people are responsive, this crowd here needs to triple in size. Why stop there? Let's multiply it times 10. Now just bear with me as I read something that I wrote last night. I was trying to collect my thoughts, and I don't think I could get this off the top of my head if I just put it in an outline. We'll see. All power is given to the government by the people with trust in hopes of attaining